Flying Kites Illustrated by David Cockcroft The hoppers pressed their noses against the window. They watched the March wind blow outside. Remember, do not leave the house while we are gone, said Mother Hopper. She and Papa Hopper were going shopping. Snubby Nose cried, Can we sit on the doorstep? Do not set one paw outside, Mother Hopper said. She and Papa Hopper left for town. The hoppers swept the floor, made their beds, and made lunch. All the while, Snubby Nose said, I want to fly my kite. Let's fly our kites. After lunch, the hoppers took out their kites just to look at them. They sat by the window. The March wind blew around the house. Let's just fly our kites in the yard, said Snubby Nose. Mother said we must not leave the house, said Fluffy Tail. The March wind blew some leaves against the window. Snubby Nose couldn't stand it any more. He stepped outside with his kite, and the other hoppers followed. Fluffy Tail was the last one out. They ran around the house with their kites, but soon they got tired of their yard. We can go down the path, said Snubby Nose. The hoppers flew their kites down the path into the woods. Floppy Ears cried, Oh, no! I let go of my string. Her kite sailed away. Then Speedy Legs cried, A branch tore my kite. We should have listened to Mother, said Fluffy Tail. Just then, Snubby Nose howled, my kite is caught in a tree. Just then, Grandpa Grizzly walked by. What's all this crying? he asked. We are in trouble, said Snubby Nose. My kite is caught in a tree. Grandpa Grizzly winked. He climbed the tall tree and pulled the string from the branches. He brought it down and gave it to Snubby Nose. Be careful now, he said. That kite might do strange things. You should always be good when you play by yourselves. Snubby Nose took hold of his kite string, and the kite sailed up and up. Then Snubby Nose went up and up with it. Soon he flew out of sight. Speedy Legs, Fluffy Tail, and Floppy Ears nearly burst into tears. But Grandpa Grizzly led them home. I have a feeling you'll see Snubby Nose soon, he said. When they got home, Floppy Ears looked into the sky. I see a speck, she cried. Is it Snubby Nose? cried Speedy Legs. It was Snubby Nose, still holding the kite string. He came down and landed right on the doorstep. Have you learned to listen to your mother? Grandpa Grizzly asked. Yes, we have, said the hoppers. Just then, Mother and Papa Hopper came around the corner. Before Grandpa Grizzly went home, he gave each little hopper a brand new kite.